Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Panda and I'm coming back with another video. But first, before we get into today's video, hit the like button or hit that dislike button. Whatever works for you is fine with me, as long as you hit a button. And subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever this channel drops any new content. Woo chat! Today, I want to discuss Lady Bling and Woods. They went to a car dealership to purchase a new truck and they went on to explain how they felt like the car salesman was showing prejudice towards them about selling the car. Woods went on to say how he felt like the vibes was off with how the salesperson was acting. And Woods also said that he felt that the salesperson was acting funny style towards him and Blaine because of their skin color. Um, it could have been what Woods was saying or it could have been that the salesman was discriminating against them because maybe they thought that they couldn't afford the truck that they were looking at. Because if you listen closely to what Woods was saying, he said that the salesperson took them outside to look at the cheapest truck on the lot. Unfortunately, people treat you how you look sometimes. It's sad to say. But some people are just like that. Some car salesmen will size you up like that if you come inside their establishment looking dusty. They will act funny towards you until they run your credit. Your credit will speak for you and then they can act funny all they want, but at least you'll walk out with what you want. And is it just me? But does Bling have a naturally whiny sound and voice to you guys or is it just me? She started whining and fussing at Woods because she wanted to eat waffles and he wanted Wingstop. Her issue with him was she said that he's always eating Wingstop. She stated that he goes to Wingstop every day. He wasn't saying that she couldn't eat her waffles that she wanted. The problem was that she didn't want him eating Wingstop. She wanted him to eat what she wanted to eat. And that right there is what irritates me about her. People who like her are going to say, well, if you so irritated by her, then why do you watch her then? Because I'm grown. That's the fuck why. And I could watch whatever the fuck I want to watch. And furthermore, I never said that she wasn't entertaining. But some of the stuff she does, does annoy me. But anyway, let's continue. Woods loves her. You can tell, don't get me wrong. But he be irritated by her too. I'm sure that she's a nice lady in her own way. But she acts like a spoiled child. You can tell that her parents never told her no that much because she throws a temper tantrum like a baby whenever she can't get her way. He always seems to give in and give her her way to keep the peace in their household because if he doesn't give her her way, she'll stomp around the trailer and pout all day like a baby. He let her choose breakfast and she was happy and smiling because she got her way as usual, but he made her pinky swear that she'll let him pick lunch. See what I mean? When I say that she acts like a spoiled baby, that's why he almost hit her with the door on the way inside the restaurant. They went to the Waffle House. The Waffle House is good and they serve good food, so Bling should have been happy, right? Wrong. Not only did she choose the restaurant, but she also started fussing at him over what he wanted to eat on the menu. It looks like she chose what they ate, too, because when the server brought their food to the table, they both had identical plates. Cheese, eggs, hash browns, and toast. And, of course, she got her waffle. That food did look good, though. I ain't gonna lie about that shit, especially that damn waffle. It was big as hell, too. It looked good. Um, they're another couple that like to leave their kids at home whenever they go out to eat. They always have the kids with them until it's time to eat. Don't get me wrong. They take the kids out to eat, but not as much as they go out by themselves. But hey, I guess it's easy to pay for two people than it is to pay for five. So they finished eating and went to another car dealership. They got approved for their new truck. But in true bling fashion, she could never be happy about anything. She got upset with Woods because he was happy that they got approved for their new truck. But you know, damn well she wasn't going to let him be happy for too long without ruining it somehow. So in true bling fashion, she made it about her. She folded her arms across her chest and started fussing about the fact that they had to wait for over an hour to find out whether they were approved for the loan or not. So fucking what? If you don't have cash to buy it straight up and you're applying for a loan, then it's a long process. It is what the fuck it is. Stop acting like a fucking baby. She act, she always act like the she's the exception and the rules don't apply to her. She act like the rules applies to everybody except her. How dare they make her highness wait how dare they but long story short 
They got it. Why the fuck she come out the house looking like that? Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. As a woman, when you go out with your man, you should at least make yourself look presentable. She dresses to get attention from everybody except him. He had to tell her to cover herself because she had a shirt open. And it wasn't like it was a regular bra. It was the kind of bra that goes to a lingerie outfit. Meaning it should be worn for woods behind closed doors. And he had to make her button her shirt to cover that shit up. The problem was her button up shirt was too small. And her boobies is too big. So even though she she, she buttoned it up. You could still see her, her bra through the gaping hole. She does not respect Woods at all. She doesn't respect him as a man. First and foremost. And she doesn't respect him as a husband either. Because he had to remind her. That he already spoke to her. About how she be presenting herself on camera. Yet she still came on here and did it anyway. If it was the other way around, y'all know she would have fussed him out for it. So anyway, here comes the bullshit. The good part about it is they got approved for the loan. But the bad part about it is they weren't approved for the truck that they wanted. Woods looked, he was really upset about it. You could see it all in his face. The truck that they got was nice. But he wasn't enthusiastic about it because it wasn't the truck that he wanted. Um, I could see why he was a little upset. Because the car dealership gave them a car that wasn't vacuumed on the inside. And they didn't wash it on the outside. But it wasn't a bad looking truck. The good part about it, it's really, really big. So they can, you know, they could maybe make like a little moving company as a little side hustle. To get like some extra coins until the 21st roll around when they get their little YouTube money, if you know what I'm saying. Um, she didn't make the situation any better. She just pointed out every single thing that she didn't like about the truck, but she did it in a pouty whiny way. Woods didn't like the fact that the truck didn't have a radio in it, which is pretty easy, which is a pretty easy fix because they can buy a new radio and have it installed later on down the line. But I could, I guess I can kind of see why he would be upset about the radio because it's important because they're getting ready to go to Florida and that's a long drive so you'll need the radio for entertainment and to drown out Bling's annoying voice um but she had the nerve to try and shush him when he was complaining about how he felt about the truck not having a radio so I have a problem with that so you can pout all day and complain and whine about any and everything that you don't like she even pointed out quite a few things about the truck that she didn't like herself Mind you, she had her nose told up, turned up the whole time. But he has to hush, hush his mouth up when he complained about the truck not having a radio. See, that's what gets on my nerves about Bling. She has an I can, but you can't type of attitude. She only allows him to speak freely as long as he's saying or doing whatever it is that she wants him to say or do. That's why he looks 10 years older than he actually is. Because she stresses that poor man out. I can't be the only one that sees that. She's stressful as hell. She's rude as hell too. She kept talking over him while he was talking. The car salesman looked like he was full of shit to me. I just don't trust car salesmen that much because they always lying. They'll say and do whatever to get you to buy just any old car. The kids were happy about the truck when they pulled up though. And that's, a, that's good as long as the kids are happy. The next person I want to talk about is my jazzy life. I wasn't going to let your ass off the hook. I wasn't going to bother you today. But then you did some shit that I didn't like. So I had to say something about it. Now, in the opening scene, her and Duty Bug was preparing to go out. Is it just me or just does she never look happy around her kids? I don't understand why she keeps having babies if she doesn't want to be bothered with them. She's the type of woman that likes to, she likes the feeling of being pregnant and feeling the baby growing inside her. But then when they get to be a certain size, she seemed like she just pushed him away and don't want to be bothered with him. And it seemed like Duty Bug is starting to, he's getting closer and closer to one years old. So I've been noticing in another vlog, her, she was talking to Chris, telling him, mentioned, I heard her mention to Chris that she wanted to have another baby soon. So I guess Duty Bug is starting to outgrow that, that what she considers, which I think he's a cutie pie baby. But I guess he's starting to outgrow that what she considers to be that cutie pie stage. You know, when they're real, real tiny and little and cute, he's getting older now. He's about to be one years old. He should be walking soon, but we're going to get on that towards the later part of the video. I'm going to discuss that walking thing. But 
she um she just seems like she don't want to be bothered with duty anymore she seems like she's always upset with him now she don't act all you know google guy guy and think about this that and the other like how she was acting how she normally act but she put she was putting duty bug in the car seat and you could tell by her body language her facial expression that she was not feeling the idea of taking duty bug with her she put him in his car seat and she looked like she had an attitude there was no smile on her face at all and she just looked really mad Am I the only one that notices that Jasmine takes on the personality of whatever friend she's hanging around at that time? I noticed that when she was cool with Strong Mommy Chrissy, she was she began to take on Strong Mommy Chrissy's personality and attitude and her persona. Now that she's besties with Liv, she seems to be taking on Liv's persona. Jasmine doesn't have her own identity. And basically what I'm trying to say is the bottom line is Jasmine is a 31-year-old follower. Now let's get back into her day in the life log. Now, first off, it looked a little chilly outside to me that particular day. She had duty bug outside with no jacket, no blanket, no nothing. She didn't even have on a jacket. But that's the thing. If you don't care about yourself, you ain't going to care about your kids. So if she didn't have a jacket. And I guess it wasn't cold to her because, you know, she got all that extra insulation, all that extra meat that she carrying around because, you know, she eats a lot. So she got a lot of extra cushions. So it probably wasn't cold outside to her. But it damn sure was cold to that baby. If it ain't cold, you always walk with a blanket for your baby. Hmm. Hmm. That's why them kids always be sick. Because she probably be having the other kids outside without no jacket and no coat either. And she act like she was upset that Kaylin broke her glasses. I understand that, boo. But kids do shit like that. She also acted like she was supposed to receive a trophy because she was doing what a mother was supposed to do. And let's try and get her glasses fixed. She kept bringing up that she was in the office for a good little minute. So the fuck what? That's a part of being a fucking mother. You can tell that she's not doing used to doing nothing for her kids. That's why she was so fucking mad. She wouldn't be acting like nothing if it was for Chris, though. She'll do anything for Chris. And it's all smiles. See, she mentioned that it was cold outside so it wasn't my imagination when i said it looked ch chilly remember when i mentioned to you guys earlier that she had the baby outside with no coat on and it looked chilly well it was cold outside because she said that she had to order duty bug a coat keyword duty bug that's one child mind you she has five children but she said that she had to order duty bug a coat what the fuck about the rest of the kids what about the other kids jasmine i guess they don't get a coat unless mama dukes buy it or philip buy it or one of her supporters buy it because her highness wouldn't dare spend her hard on money on anything for those kids what did she call them the other day she called them the four extra kids yeah she not gonna spend her money on the four extras her money is reserved for her and chris but it was so cold that she had a little innocent baby outside with no jacket or no blanket. But why though? Why does he not have a jacket? My thing is, why doesn't she use one of Aiden's old jackets? Or at least she could have brought him a blanket at the very least to keep him warm. That's how you know she don't care that much for duty bug either. Bitch, let me tell you something. If it's cold to you, it's cold to duty bug too. Why are these kids still in her care? They call CPS, CPS on everybody else. I don't understand. Make it make sense. She stated that she was going to do a giveaway if she reaches 53,000 subs. Girl, don't nobody want no recycled gifts that a company sent you or, or your supporters sent you that you don't want? You cheap, Jasmine. We all know that. You're not going to spend your money on nobody but Chris. You ain't going to go out and buy nothing. Anything you give people is going to be something that somebody sent you that your ass don't want. The question is, why the fuck ain't Chris buy duty bugger jacket? That's because he don't give a fuck either. And he don't give a fuck about your ass neither. That's That baby look cold when she was going into HEB. This motherfucker always talking about, let's run this bag. Let's run this bag up. My mama always told me that people who boast and brag usually don't have that much. Real money is quiet. And you can see real money. You ain't got to boast and brag about it. You can tell when a motherfucker got some money. If she getting so much money, then why she always on here begging people for money? And why her baby don't have no code? Answer that question. Then she came out of HEB with that little bit of food for five kids. 
You know how Chris gonna eat most of that food, right? This right here. This right here made me mad. Excuse me. She took her big hippopotamus built ass to Taco Bell and ordered herself a Mexican pizza for herself. She was acting like a greedy wildebeest, too. She was sitting there acting like she was starving. Jasmine, can I ask you a question? Did you forget that Duty Bug was there? Duty Bug was running around running errands with you all morning, too. So I'm sure that Duty Bug was hungry, too. I noticed that she also mentioned in her, blo her blog that she was going to get the get out the house more bitch that wasn't your idea jasmine that's because me and several other reactors been digging in your ass for always being in that damn house i was just talking about that shit in my last video she tells on herself if you listen close enough trust me she didn't come up with that idea on her own trust me the reactors had something to do with that shit okay she sat there on camera and stuffed her face and then offered that baby not a nary crumb she thinks she slick too. She thought because she was sitting all the way up in the front and he was in the back that he wouldn't know that she was eating. But that baby ain't stupid. He could smell the food. That's why she cut the camera off and went to the next scene when she was in five and below. She mentioned that little duty was mad because when she put the camera on him, that baby looked like he was pissed off and she tried to blame it on the fact that duty bug was tired. Maybe he was tired a little bit, but he was also hungry and mad because you ate a whole Mexican pizza. He could smell that shit and you ain't give him not a drop of it. That's why the baby was mad for real. <laughs> she threw that to that baby. And she wanted us to know that she bought Kaylin something else for her birthday from Five and Below. She went to Five and Below and bought her some stylus pens. Then she took him home and plopped him in his high chair per usual. She never let that baby move around at all by herself. And why the fuck is her kids always sick? Why is she always sick? One reason is because you take him outside without no coat. And I'm glad that in the next scene when you went to, to, to Ava's parent teacher conference at school, that she's doing well. But the teacher was concerned about the fact that Ava is not eating enough in the morning. Jasmine tried to blame it on the fact that Ava doesn't eat breakfast at school. If you home, Jasmine, you a stay-at-home mom, as you always like to brag and say. Then get your ass up and make them kids some breakfast to eat in the morning so they can have energy to do their work and function properly in school. I'm talking about something that's going to stick to their stomachs like oatmeal, cream of wheat, sausage, eggs, and cheese, and waffles, or even toast. Even if the waffles, pancakes, or whatever is frozen, put that shit in the toast oven. Even the teachers recognize that, that they're not eating well. So she said that she's going to start cooking Ava breakfast. Keyword Ava, again, let's point out the fact that you got five kids, but yet and all you said you was going to get up in the morning and cook Ava some breakfast. What about the other four kids? Jasmine? <laughs> You a sorry ass mama and you got the nerve to send your baby to school hungry and don't try to act like you above that because you kept the you kept the baby outside all damn day and you didn't feed him. But you made sure that your ass ate though. Keep it up and the teacher gonna call CPS on you. She has to report that shit to the state. You should be grateful that she spoke to you about it first. She's trying to give you the opportunity to fix that shit before she has to report it to them. And you need to focus on Kaylin because she's still sick. But all you care about is your YouTube channel and not your kids. You just gave her some medicine and just had her to go lay back there. Why you ain't make her no soup? If the weather's getting cold outside. It's time for some comfort food like some chili. Some homemade chili from scratch. I ain't talking about no can. Because canned chili just don't hit the same way. You got to make that. Yeah, You can make it with ground turkey. Ain't nothing like some hearty chunky with the chunks of tomatoes and the beans in it and then you can put some cornbread on the side put a dollop of sour cream on the top put the shredded cheese on it and put some cut dice up some onions you could and put it over some white rice girl some chili right about now will be bumping but that baby needed some homemade soup she needed some homemade soup and it's easy to make you work for youtube you can go and watch you a YouTube video on how to make some homemade soup. That's how I learned how to make it. And I do a pretty good damn job about it. 
So you need to sit up there and make that baby some soup because it has enzymes and antioxidants in it that's going to help that baby to get over that cold. Get on your job and stop pumping her with all that fucking medicine. Give us some warm tea with some honey and lemon in it. Okay? And give her some soup and some TLC and just focus on her while she's sick. Bet you if it was Chris, you would take care of him now. But that will conclude today's broadcast of Miss Panda Talk Time. Thank you for listening and be blessed. And don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend about Miss Panda Talk Time. And once again, be blessed.